Alex, I want to move to you here. FM uh, had very big success last year with single treasury bond ETFs. These held on-the-run treasuries for just about the entire yield curve. You've got it right now, now yeah. right? So explain how these single treasury ETFs work uh, and, and a little bit of what are the advantages of, of buying treasuries using ETFs directly. Sure. You can so. always, of course, everybody knows you can, you, you can go, go to the government directly and buy, but here you have a product that is essentially the same thing, but there may be some advantages to using this product. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're innovating in the treasury market, so innovation of a different manner. You certainly can go to treasurydirect.gov and try to buy a treasury, and we encourage folks to try it. It's hard. And if you go and search for, say, the 90-day or the two-year, you're going to see hundreds or thousands of issues because the government's constantly issuing new debt that will expire in 30, 20, all the way down you know, to one year and then start counting by number of days. It's a lot of work. If you're also buying, say, 90-day paper, you're going to have to make four trades a year, if not more. There's a lot of work to that. Plus, it turns out when you focus on doing trading in that market, which is a very developed, mature market, it's hard. If you do it well, you can get better execution, better pricing, and you can also deliver tax advantages as well as accelerate income. If you buy a T-bill, you have to wait up to a year to see any income. In the ETFs, T-bill, X-bill, and O-bill, you get monthly income. And the same is true across the entire yield curve. So there... They're easy to buy, first off. If you go to, you know, people say, just go on the website, you know, Treasury Gov, direct, you know. But if you actually ever go on that website and try to buy bonds, it's ridiculously, I, I'm a financial professional for 30 years as a reporter. I have a hard time buying on that website and understanding what it is you're buying because there's so many different products. It's very, very confusing. Forget about advising your mother to go and do it. You'll exactly. never figure it out. But here you can actually get it. So it's easy to buy. It rolls into the new contract every month. every month. The roll costs are extremely low. Like unlike commodities, like these things roll off fine without having any serious decay associated with it. Very them. little decay. On the short of the curve, it's effectively zero. You're almost better off rolling, just given the way the dynamics of the roll work. And now even on the long end of the curve, because coupon rates are above 3%, you're actually incentivized to roll because yeah. you're generating enough coupon that extending your duration is the right move. And the cost is what, 15 basis 15 points? 15 basis points. Yeah, one five basis points. That's relatively cheap. So how is the product being met? I mean, I had you on when you first announced it last year. Um, it, it seems to me like there's been an enormous amount of interest in sh at least short-term Treasury products. Yeah, I think we first started talking last year. Everyone was rightly skeptical. Would this thing work? We had three products then, T-Bill, U2, and U10. We're now up to 10 products, so the entire yield curve, and just short of $3 billion in about 13 months. It's been very well adopted. And we're seeing use cases from institutions, from advisors, from retail investors, just really mass adoption, and it's, it's starting to speed up and get faster. Now, you're also trying active management. You just recently launched a new ETF, Opportunistic Income ETF. The symbol is XFIV. This seeks to maximize total return, you're saying, including income and appreciation. You're trying to identify undervalued and opportunistic sectors in fixed income markets. So this is a broad, actively managed bond fund, essentially, right? It is. Uh, so it's XFIX, X fix for fixed income. Um, and, you know, we'd probably be laughed off the set for saying we're long bonds, but we're long bonds. And we think it's a great opportunity in the credit market, but to think a little differently. So we approach the fund thinking like a value investor, but as opposed to buying equity, we start looking at bonds, particularly those we think are likely to be upgraded, and those that are maybe not traditional bonds in their sense, so preferreds yeah. and a handful of other things that are fixed income instruments that tend to get overlooked. Yeah, it's a very interesting concept because initially your thought is, why bother doing this in an ETF wrapper? But the ease of it and the role makes it so simple. I mean, one of the problems of owning a one-year is you're going to get your money back if you go actually go buy one. Here, unless you're concerned that somehow the yield is changing dramatically in the next year and you have to pay attention, the role's automatic for you. Exactly. That's what the appeal is to me. And on the active side of the house, as we look at credit and other structures, Buying bonds isn't that much easier than buying treasuries from the government. It's yeah. a hard place to be, and it's a place you need to be more concentrated than the index to actually outperform, and we think there's opportunities to do that. 